Now that we've laser cut the pieces for our animated mechanism box, we need to assemble it. In this video, I'll show you what you need to do to put this together so that it runs smoothly. So here I'm going to show you how to assemble the pieces we laser cut in my last video. Uh, we're building a little automata or automaton here uh, with a scotch yoke mechanism. So we'll need the plywood pieces that we cut and the little washers and retaining clips. You probably want to take some sandpaper and ease the edges of the finger joints. I just smooth each finger a little bit and then round over the side of each one quick like. Uh, that just helps them slide together easily. Um, you can glue them, uh, white glue or CA glue, but I like to assemble it all dry first, make sure everything works before um, I glue, and it's easy enough to glue later. You need two pieces of piano wire, one 13 centimeters and one 23 centimeters, um, and I use some nice pliers to cut that. These are hard wire um, cutters made by Zuron. They're really nice to snip it. Um, I also use some needle nose pliers and some round nose pliers made for jewelry making. Here's a little guide I made to bending the wire right. Um, the first bend here is is for the riser that has the scotch yoke on it and I bend 40 millimeters on the bottom there and get that a nice 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to make another bend here um, at 42 millimeters, and I need to bend that all the way over with um, a little bit of gap in there, and that's where I like the round nose pliers. And so I bend that all the way around and maybe pinch a little bit more with my needle nose pliers just to close that up some. I don't want it too close, I want my wire to be able to slide in there, so there's gonna be a little adjusting back and forth here to make sure that fits. And I wanna make sure to bend that long part straight up um, in line with the original piece there. And I, I marked 90 millimeters there, but you can certainly have more. Um, that just is what sticks up out of the box there that you can build on. The next wire, the crank, we're gonna start with those three bends in the middle there. We wanna get those in place and start to assemble the whole box. It's hard to slide that wire into the holes in the box over a 90 degree corner. It just doesn't fit in there well. And so, I'm going to make some bends about in the middle of my wire here um, and get that initial shape about 15 millimeters over, 15 millimeters up, and then make another horizontal piece there. And I try to keep this flat and work to keep this square. There I've got it too long, and it really, um, it will bind up if it's too long, and it's it's better if it's too short. And if that happens to you, a lot of times it's easier just to start with a new piece. It's really hard to bend back, but you can certainly try here. Get it flat, um, and then making a new mark there, and making sure it's no more than a uh, centimeter and a half, 15 millimeters. That'll work if you can't see um, beyond the players there. That's about the shape we're going for. We're going to put in one of the little spacers we made, a washer, and then I want that to slide on the scotch yoke. Um, the scotch yoke right now will just fall right off, and that's why we made this retainer clip. It's going to slide on there. It's the one with the slot, and it might be a little too tight, so you're going to, have to squeeze that down. Um, we made a three millimeter gap there for it, and get that pinched on there, and that's just going to make sure that the it doesn't slide off the crank then. Um, but we have to get this assembled now uh, before it's in the box because there'll be no way to put that in there. I'm just going to create a little space there to make sure my wires aren't pinched and it slides freely um, on the crank. Uh, this, this is pretty hard to line up, especially when you're trying to record yourself doing it. Uh, there's a lot of wires sticking out in all sorts of directions. Uh, apologize, I couldn't get it all filmed well. Slide another washer on here, and then you're going to want to bend that wire down. Uh, it's going to be about 8 millimeters or so, so there's a little wiggle room there, and you're going to create that, that crank shape. A little bend at the end is to keep it in place inside the box. We're going to make sure uh, to slide that crank into the size of the box first before we do any of the other bends or Again, it will be impossible to make it around those 90 degree corners. 
So now I straighten it back out um, in line with the crankshaft. Try to keep it flat, square, 90 degree bends. So here's one of the side pieces. I'm going to assemble at the back and I'm making sure that the, the holes for the middle piece are lined up and I'm going to insert that. And then put the crank into the side hole and I'm going to line up the lifter mechanism uh, with that hole in that middle piece. The short end goes down the box and the long end of the lifter sticks up out of the top of the box towards me. I'm sliding the top on, lining it up with my shaft that's going to stick up out of it. And wiggle those finger joints in place. Should be a pretty snug fit, even after you're sanded them. Get the other side on, uh, making sure you have the fingers pointed the right way. I didn't the first time. There we go. That just pinches together here. You can put the bottom on now. Um, sometimes it's nice to be able to get in there and move that wire. Uh, if you cut that bottom piece too short, it, it lifts out of there, and I did have a little bit of trouble with that. I put a washer on the end there, and I'm going to just bend the wire over, and that's going to keep it from sliding out. Um, cut off the excess. Sorry, I didn't get that into camera there. It really was a magical process. You're missing some really great uh, technical work here. On the other side, we want to create the crank. I just about forgot the washer. We want that on there first. Make a 90 degree bend. Sorry, the, the handle for the crank is what we're making here coming out of the side. Uh, this is probably the toughest one to get that wire tight on there um, after you have everything else in place. I uh, just bend over and create the handle. And it should rotate smoothly. There, that works. So. Nice smooth action there, no binding, um, stays in place. Get the bottom on here, and then just a matter of uh, straightening out any wires, um, making sure your bends are tight and stuff. Um, but that's that's pretty much it, get that in place, and then you're free to, to build on top of that. Uh, I, I suggest at the start just getting something that lifts up and down. The, the head on my little monster necromancer is pretty easy. You're, you can make a tail wag, um, arms on an octopus, reach up and down, etc. So work on those simple motions first, and then work on maybe doing a double scotch yoke, adding other motions to your automata. Thanks for watching. 